The presentation, What are the Rules if a Person is Self-Employed and Receiving Disability Benefits, is for professionals who work with people with disabilities. It is presented by Granite State Independent Living's Financial Planning and Benefit Services. What is considered self-employment? Social Security's definition of self-employment is there is a good faith intention of making a profit or producing income. The activity involves continuity of operations, repetition of transactions, or regularity of activities. The activity is a regular occupation. The beneficiaries holding themselves out to others as being engaged in the selling of goods or services. Please note that only Social Security can make a determination of whether a person is self-employed. A person is considered self-employed if they are in a contracted position and receive a 1099 at the end of the year. If a person is responsible for paying all the taxes themselves, they are self-employed. How are earnings looked at when self-employed? When a person is self-employed, their net earnings from self-employment, NESI, are used by Social Security Administration and the State of New Hampshire when calculating the effect their earnings will have on their benefits. It is important to know that for a self-employed person, both Social Security and the state use the net earnings, not the gross earnings. Social Security and the state expect a person to be paying their own Social Security taxes when self-employed. How does Social Security calculate NESI? Social Security calculates NESI by taking the gross profit minus approved business expenses then multiplying the total by 0.9235 to equal the NESI. Gross profit minus business expenses equals net profit times 0.9235 equals NESI. For example, if they have $1,000 gross profit minus $200 of business expenses, that equals $800 of net profit. So Security then times it by 0.9235 to equal a total of $738.80 of net earnings from self-employment. Social Security will use the business expenses approved by the IRS. You can go on to Social Security's website at www.ssa.gov for acceptable business expenses. You can also go on to the IRS website at www.irs.gov. How does the state calculate NESI? The state calculates NESI by taking the gross profit minus the approved business expenses to equal NESI. Please note that the state, unlike Social Security, does not multiply by 0.9235. Okay? Social Security multiplies by that number because you are paying double the Social Security tax. The state does not multiply. For example, they'll take your $1,000 gross profit minus the $200 business expenses to equal $800 of the net earnings from self-employment. The state will use the business expenses approved by the IRS. However, the state does not count depreciation. You can also go on the Department of Health and Human Services website at www.dhhs.state.nh.us for acceptable business expenses. You can also go on the IRS website at www.irs.gov. What if a person is seasonally employed? If you have a client who is seasonally employed and wants to know how Social Security and the Department of Health and Human Service figure their yearly NESI, here's an example of how they treat it. For SSDI and state benefits, divide the net profit by the number of months worked in the seasonal employment. For example, if you have a client who has an ice cream cut in the summer for three months, then the person's net income will be divided by three months. It can also be looked at monthly, depending on their earnings. Okay. For SSI benefits, the total net profit will be divided over a 12-month period, no matter how many months are poor person is employed. So for example, if you have that client who has the ice cream cart in the summer for three months, their net income is not divided by three months, it's divided by 12. How does self-employment affect a person's SSDI cash benefit? During the trial work period, Social Security will look to see if a person has NESI of 770 or more per month in 2014, or if a person has worked in their business or as a contractor 80 or more hours 
per month. How does self-employment affect a person's SSDI cash benefit after the trial work period? So Security will look to see if a person has an SD of 1070 or more per month in 2014. The work rules that apply only when self-employed are unpaid help and unincurred business expenses. Subsidies or special conditions do not apply when self-employed. What is unpaid help? Unpaid help is help provided to a person in their business by family members, friends, or others who work without pay. The value of the work performed without pay is deducted from the person's countable wages. What are unincurred business expenses? An unincurred business expense is anything that the IRS would allow as a business expense for a person's business operations that they did not pay for themselves. For example, if a local organization allows a person to use their office space or equipment for their business at no expense, the value of that space or equipment can be deducted. So the security would take the value of the expense and deduct it from the person's countable wages. How does self-employment affect a person's SSI cash benefit? When a person's SSI monthly cash benefit is calculated, NASI is used as their wages. Remember that if they are employed seasonally rather than yearly, the yearly NASI is still divided by 12. There is one working rule that only applies to people who are self-employed. Property essential for self-support, PESS, cannot be used if the business is an LLC or a type of corporation can be used if a person is a sole proprietor or in a partnership. What is PESS? Many people who want to be self-employed are afraid that owning a business will count as a resource, resource which may cause the loss of SSI and Medicaid. Under a provision known as Property Essential for Self-Support, Social Security will not count a person's property if they use it in trade or business, for example, inventory, or use it for work as an employee, for example, tools or equipment, regardless of the value of the rate of return. The state also has exclusion when it comes to property owned for self-employment. Please talk to Department of Health and Human Services about this. Reporting. Please note that a person should report their self-employment promptly to all sources. Since a person does not receive pay stubs, profit and loss statements are acceptable for monthly and quarterly reporting. At the end of the year, a copy of the person's taxes with the Schedule SC -E and C need to be provided so that Social Security or the state can look back at their yearly NSE and average it over the past year to determine the countable wages and correct any errors. So please encourage your clients to file taxes promptly when they are self-employed and to also make sure they do a Schedule SC -E and a Schedule C, even if there's a loss, so that Social Security and the state can do their proper calculations. If a person receives SSCI and are used in trial work months, a log needs to be kept of the hours a person works in their business to report to Social Security. Want more information? Here's how you can get more information. You can view the rest of the videos to learn more. You can contact Granite State Independent Living for assistance. The be Financial Planning Benefit Services number is 877-809-7028. Website is www.gsal.org. The email for the Financial Planning Benefit Services is benefits at gsal.org. You can visit the New Hampshire Work Incentive Resource Center for more resources at www.nhwirc.org. Contact Social Security Administration and the Department of Health and Human Services for more details at Social Security's website is www.ssa.gov. The Department of Health and Human Services website is www.dhhs.state.nh.us. If you are connected with an area agency, mental health center, or vocational rehabilitation, you can contact them for more information and assistance.